uh, Mike Sardonich was very, very happy. Look at He's got sweet new glasses. He's out celebrating. Celebration um, shades. He, uh, now, understand this, okay? I want to tell you a little bit of background on this. Um, so Mike uh, Sardonich uh, um, tweets out, finds this uh, tweet of mine from uh, 2009 where I'm knocking people who are supporting I guess what happened was uh, that Polanski got arrested, I think. And um, but all I remember is that there were members of the Hollywood community, uh, filmmakers such who were uh, signing a petition to get to, to rehabilitate Roman Polanski in some fashion. And I found it disgusting. And I responded uh, with uh, satire, uh, suggesting that if um, uh, I didn't care about Polanski, but uh, if my daughter was uh, raped, that I would hope it would be by a, uh, uh, an older man who had a great sense of mise-en-scene. Now, um, one of the tip-offs that people uh, could have known that it was a satire might have been the use of mise-en-scene when you talk about that, uh, or just the fact that, you know, if uh, he's paying somebody to look through my tweets, one would anticipate that somewhere between 2009 and 2017, you'd find something else that was problematic in that way. But, I, I mean, I think Mike knows that he was uh, purposely misinterpreting it, but that's fine. He could say, hey, you've purposely misinterpreted the fact that I was charged with rape and pled it down to a misdemeanor battery. He could say that. That's fine. It's a free country. Um, so here's the thing, as much as play as Cervanich got the first day or two, Seb Gorka retweeted it, Donald Trump Jr. retweeted it, Yeah. nobody else picked it up. In fact, what is the name of that thing? It's like, uh, there's a bot checker. And a buddy of mine who is in this type of like uh, business, not, not our, our business, but more like the tech business, he ran a bunch of those uh, tweets through botcheck.me, where you can find out through their analysis, are these real Twitterers or are these real bots? Are these bots? And not all of them were bots, but the vast majority were bots. So this is obviously an operation that um, is funded. You buy those bots, you set it out, and this is the way that Mike Cervanovich, uh makes his hay. And then he's got to jump on uh, Twitter, I mean, uh, Periscope, I guess, to announce his victory. Here it is, Mike Cervanovich excited that he won. And we're back, Mike Cervanich, Cervanich.com. Big break news. Pause it. Does he have trouble pronouncing his name too? Could you roll that back? Because it sounds like he has trouble pronouncing his name. He should extend us a lot more courtesy if that's the case. If that's the case. And we're back, Mike Sturm at Sturmish.com. Big break news. Sounds Sam good. Cedar, who is uh, MSNBC contributor, he is no longer an MSNBC News contributor after a tweet of him making a joke about child rape and Roman Polanski was reported by Mike Cernovich and was made um, publicly <laughs> available. Thank you to everybody who emailed the MSNBC. Thank you to all Pause of you, it. your heroes. Now, no one emailed MSNBC. Or I know. Himself. I know from our advertisers, they got uh, one or two emails, and it was clearly either him or uh, his assistant. So there wasn't that many emails at all from MSNBC. But he's got to pretend like this is a grassroots organization he's got going here. When, in fact, it's more like that, uh, that dude from the Catholic League who was just in an office with a secretary and would go on, uh, on, on news back in the day and say that he was representing all Catholics. Now, maybe Mike Cervanich is saying, I represent everybody who's ever been charged with rape and pled down to a, uh, a misdemeanor. I'm the plead down to the misdemeanor from Rape League. And we are incredibly upset about know. Roman Polanski's satire. Here we go. Thank you to all of you, your heroes. Your heroes, because 
you emailed MSNBC and you let them know about the tweet, you let them know the people will, not, people will be heard. We are the media now. We are the media now. And if you endorse, or if you can call it satire, Sam goes it's satire, whatever, MSNBC ain't laughing. <laughs> He is right about the satire chops of MSNBC, apparently. I wonder if he went on to say that I endorsed what? Huh. That seems to be a willful mischaracterization, particularly since he knows that I call it satire. That's odd. I'm not a public figure, folks. I'm just a little guy. I'm not like as powerful and as well-known as Mike Cervanich knows no, that he is. essentially running a little cottage industry out of Brooklyn at best. Wow. Hmm. Uh, but um, so that was uh, Savanich pretending that there was a group of people uh, who um, who were doing this. Uh, there is uh, Mike Savanich. He ha seems to have strategically placed himself under an ad aardvark um, on a, a painting to make it look like the, the aardvark is actually like pooping him out. I wonder if he did that on purpose. He's got a wonderful sense of mise en scene. Let's hear what he says. <laughs> Just for those of you, just for those of you watching, I will tell you one thing. That there is a campaign of terror being waged against my family. And if you're part of that, or if you give aid and comfort to those who are attacking my family, I will do everything legally allowed. I don't need to break any laws. Sam Cedar, I didn't break any laws. I just paid somebody to go through his tweets. I'm paying people to go through all your tweets if you've ever given aid and comfort to somebody who's trying to lead a campaign of terror against my family. So let that be a message to you. Troll me all you want. Call me a Nazi, a rape, a I don't care what you say about me. Pause it. So Mike Cernovanich says it's okay to call him a rape apologist and a Nazi or whatever we want. Noted. Noted. This well-known public figure has just stated it is perfectly, he's perfectly fine with that characterization. Hmm. Okay. We shall proceed. We shall bow down to you and you shall be our leader. But if you go after my family, or you give aid and comfort to those who are going after my family. Pause it. Then it's. What does aid and comfort mean? Are there, are, there, are there bands of roving gorillas who are trying to attack his, uh, his family and people are actually like putting them up? Or what are they doing? I don't know. I mean, aid and comfort. I got this from the same like, sort of like mm. pizza gate sort of source. Um, I don't know that we've ever, ever uh, even acknowledged that he could have a family on this. Uh, I'm program. shocked. I am pretty sure. I'm just about very it. familiar with his much more successful ex wife, whose alimony he got. Does that's he mean I'm the, maybe that's what he I means. thought he meant the Pizzagate investigation family? Oh, oh, is that what he's talking about? Mm, oh. That's odd. Maybe he has a very extended family notion. I'm not sure. Is there anything mo Donald Trump is my Let's family. He's see. my father. <laughs> it's going to be very personal. I will do everything legally allowed. Nothing illegal. I don't need to break the law. So. Mm. <sighs> Just adding to my impression. Um, so we're now, what now? What does this guy do? Is he selling his, his vitamins online? Is that right? Uh, let me double check. I believe he does. Huh. I thought I know about the gorilla mindset. All right. Well, who knows? Well, all right, so there's a uh, Mike uh, Cervanich. Um, he's a well-known figure, as you know. Um, he has stated that multiple times. So we were just playing that video because he's news. Entrepreneur, journalist. Mm-hmm. Stay at home, lay about, receiver of alimony. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be fun. In incidentally, we forgot to mention yesterday that it was the one year anniversary of the Pizzagate shooting. Oh, well, congratulations. That is great. Everybody remembers Pizzagate uh, shooting where uh, somebody was uh, listening to uh, Mike Cervantes, I guess one of the mem members of his. Oh, wow. 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 People are pretty excited about that. I mean, he's a very well-known figure, as you know. And uh, he inspired someone 
to uh, go in and shoot up a pizza parlor looking for a pedophilia uh, ring. Um, here is, uh, oh wait, what is this? This is, oh, this is uh, Vic Berger. And folks, if you're not following Vic Berger on Twitter. Do it. Or uh, on his YouTube channel, do yourself a favor. It is hilarious stuff, uh, but it's also just based on real footage and captures the true essence of a human being in a way that I don't think I've ever seen. And uh, if you, if you, if there's anything that you remotely find appealing about this program, uh, you will uh, appreciate uh, Vic Berger. You've seen Vic Berger on this program well, before. Well, not fact. seen him. I mean, you've he heard was, him. You heard his uh, disembodied voice. Um, but here it is, uh, Pizzagate. Uh, it, this is entitled Pizzagate. Mike Cernovich on 60 Minutes. You know, yes or no? Did you know that most people? Did you know that most people in media are pedophiles? This past December, Edgar Welch opened fire in a Washington, D.C. pizzeria. He told police he was there to rescue children forced into prostitution by Hillary Clinton. They literally have a fucking sex touch. Most people don't know this. The story of Secretary Clinton's child sex trafficking operation in a pizzeria was invented before the election by fraudulent news sites and shared by millions. <coughs> These news stories are fakes. They're definitely not fake. They're lies. They're not lie at all. 100% true. <laughs> Do you believe that, or do you say that because it's important for marketing your website? Oh, I believe it. I don't say anything that I don't believe. That doesn't seem like a very high bar. It's a high bar because I'm an attorney. I know how to weigh and measure evidence. What I'm doing is it's punchy. It's fun. One person said that they prayed that someone would come and kill everyone inside. It's counterintuitive. It's counter-narrative. They wanted to see my guts cut out and spill on the floor of my restaurant. And it's information that you're not going to see everywhere else. Well, there is zero evidence saying that the gunmen at Common Pizza today had anything to do with Pizzagate. So the gunmen, the gunmen, so the, the gunmen just so happens to be an actor. What a coinkity. What a coinkity. So this is fake news. Cernovich's website is just one of hundreds publishing nonsense on the right and on the left. Fake news is very, very dangerous. In August, he published, Hillary Clinton has Parkinson's disease, physician confirms. You don't think that's misleading? No. <laughs> you believe it's true today? Oh, absolutely. She had a seizure and froze up. Well. She had pneumonia. I mean, How do you know? The point is, you didn't talk to anybody who'd ever examined Hillary I, Clinton. I don't, I don't take anything Hillary Clinton is going to say as true. And that's why we are in these different universes. What stories have you published that have turned out to not be right? <laughs> None that come to mind. None? That come to mind, no. 100% true. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care of your kids. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out Oh, God. What a genius. Well, wow. it's ca counterintuitive. It's counter, it's counter, counter, counter conventional. Counter conventional. It's counter top. I know a lot about law, like marrying a much more successful wife, getting her money. I knew a lot about uh, family law. Family law. Divorce law. Family law. You pass the bar, I get your money. It's the law. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.